Hello students, welcome back. Let's have a look at the next question. It's a question from electricity and it is a question from electrical circuit. So what does it read? It reads like consider the following circuit diagram in which nine identical resistors of 3 ohm each are connected as shown. So here it is 3 ohm are connected as shown if the reading of the ammeter A1 is 1 ampere answer the following questions okay relationship between a1 and a3 and a2 and a3 and reading of ammeter v uh, reading of voltmeter v1 and the total resistance of the circuit okay so here there is a circuit diagram in which there is a mixed circuit overall resistance we have to find out so here we have three ammeters a1 a2 and a3 and we have to find out the relationship between A1 and A3 given that the current through emitter A1 is 1 ampere. So current here is 1 ampere. Now A1 has a current of 1 ampere flowing through it. Now that 1 ampere current will flow through this entire circuit right because it is in series. So the current through A3 will also be 1 ampere. So here it's asked what's the relationship between A1 and A3 give reason. So our answer is that same current flows through A1 and A3 as they are in series. This should be your first answer. Second one relationship between A2 and A3. Now A2 you see it is connected near resistance 3 ohm here and here it is a part of the branched circuit. So A2 is connected to a part of this branched circuit near resistance 3 ohm. So A2 will have a different value of current than A3 which shows us a reading of 1 ampere. So they are different, they are different. Okay, they are different and shows different value of current as they are in different branches okay so here a1 is equal to a3 which should be 1 ampere and the values of current in a2 and a3 will be different because they are connected in different branches then we come to the third part determine the reading of voltmeter v1 so here is voltmeter v1 now so when a current of 1 ampere is flowing in this circuit when it is coming to let's say this point x the current is dividing into two parts but still the amount of current on this side comes to be 1 ampere though the current is divided yet if we add up the total current in this branch it will be 1 ampere only. So current across this branch is 1 ampere. Now resistance we have the current value we have we, using Ohm's law we will find out the potential difference. So for that we need to find out the resistance first. So we know that current is 1 ampere now for finding out the resistance so we know that resistance in parallel so these two resistors of 3 ohm each are connected in parallel so the effective resistance across this circuit let us name it r1 so r1 how to find out the formula is 1 by r1 is 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 that is 2 by 3 so r1 comes to be 3 by 2 Ohm. So this is the effective resistance for the first branch. So let us name it R1, second branch let it be R2 and third branch let it be R3. So now current we got, resistance we got, we need to find out the voltage. So V1 will be I R1 from Ohm's law that is I is 1 into 3 by 2 which is 3 by 2 that is 1.5 volt. So the voltage V1 is 1.5 volt. Now let me tell you one easier way to find out the equivalent resistance if certain number of resistors of equal value are connected in 
parallel or series now if identical resistances here you see the identical resistance of 3 ohm are connected in parallel so instead of adding the reciprocal of individual resistances there is a formula rp is r by n using this formula we can find out the equivalent resistance very quickly that is r is the value of each resistor because they are all identical same values they have the same values so it will be 3 and how many resistances are there there are 2 so the effective resistance r1 for this part is 3 by 2 which we find out very quickly but the condition here is that all the resistances should have same value then only you can apply this formula similarly we will find out the resistance for the second branch that is r2 using this formula so r2 will be r by n what is the value of r r value is 3 and n means how many resistances are there there are three resistors 1 2 and 3 so they are 3 in number so the equivalent resistance comes to be 1 ohm so r2 is 1 ohm see how easily we found out otherwise we would have taken the reciprocal of all those and then added which should have taken a lot of time similarly for r3 we can find out r3 is Again, R value is 3 ohm and how many of them are there? They are 4 in number. So, 3 by 4. So, R3 comes to be 3 by 4 ohm. So, now we have R1, R2 and R3 and now we need to find out the total resistance of the circuit. Now, these resistors are connected in series with each other. The equivalent resistance R1, the equivalent resistance R2 and the equivalent resistance R3, they are all in series. So, in order to find out the equivalent resistances in series, we have to just add all the individual values. So, it is R1 plus R2 plus R3. So, that comes to be R1 is 3 by 2, R2 is 1 and R3 is 3 by 4. So, the LCM comes to be 4, 6 plus 4 plus 3 which is 13 by 4. Four. So, your equivalent resistance of this circuit comes to be 13 by 4 which is 3.25 ohm. So, Rs is 3.25 ohm. So, this is the answer to the alternate question. So, now the formula which you need to remember is this that is if the resistances are identical and are connected in parallel you have to apply this formula and find out and if the resistances are connected in series the formula which you need to apply is r s is n into r whereas n is the number of resistors and the value of each resistance is r so r s is n r so if you remember these two formulas it will be easier for you to calculate during the exam time but remember that these two formulas are applied only when the resistances are of identical values. You cannot apply them if the values of resistance is different in the circuit or the branch. So, I hope you have understood this. Please like, share and subscribe to Sigma Physics Online. And if you have any queries or doubts or any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment box. I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching and see you in the next set. This was the end of set 2. Next we will be solving the set 3 question. Thanks for watching.